Hello guys, welcome to our channel Seriously Amazing. In this session, I'm going to talk about CP modeling of a buried pipeline using magnesium anode. This model is based on a primary current distribution with bare pipeline surfaces in different soil resistivity sections. This computer based modeling helps to visualize the CP design during concept stage which then further be extended to the secondary or tertiary current distribution studies. So please do not forget to hit like and subscribe our channel to get new videos on a more complex application in coming days. Hope you will enjoy this session. Let's start our CP model for the buried section of pipeline with magnesium anode. The principle for cathodic protection using sacrificial anode is quite simple, in which the steel structure is electrically connected to a less novel metal, for example, magnesium, which causes the magnesium anode, sacrificial anode, to be anodically polarized and the steel structure to be cathodically polarized when both electrodes are emerged or buried in a common soil or electrolyte. The anodes are dissolved through the anodic dissolution of the metal while oxygen reduction takes place at the steel structure surface. For the current solution, pipeline is assumed to be covered by a different soil resistivity sections. Basically, three different soil sections developed for this model. First section contains 2500 ohm centimeter soil. The second section contains 1500 ohm centimeter soil. And the third one containing 10,000 ohm centimeter soil. Remember, anode is located halfway in the middle and also in the low resistivity soil section. This model can be easily extended to secondary current density distribution analysis in order to add the kinetics of the electrode reactions in a second stage. So, please do not forget to hit like, subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications for the advanced CP modeling of the pipelines in coming days. Let's start with the model builder. Okay, now we will create a CP model of buried section of a pipeline using magnesium anode. Click on the model wizard. Click on the 3D dimensions. You need to choose electrochemistry. Here I'm going to use primary current distribution to create a simple CP model for, for this case. Click on the add button. Then on the study. Uh, I'm going to choose stationary studies for this time we are in we are in a model builder the first step we need to introduce a geometry for this specific case including pipeline anode and the electrolyte around it click on the geometry let's create a section of pipeline the pipeline i have choose having 20 inch diameter so it will be 254 millimeter radius with 50 meter length the axis probably will be x axis so click on the build selected so you see the pipeline section is here on the screen we need to create an odd the dimensions 120 millimeter radius with one meter height the position we need to define now since we are aiming our anode to be located here so I have this specific number for that minus 1.25 plus 1 I think that should be negative 
and look at it on the y-axis let's see so now you can see and now just look at it right in the middle of the pipeline at one meter sep separation the anode is also located at the pipe in what level you can see from different views this is a side view you can see the anode is located at the pipe in what level with one meter separation top view of the anode and pipeline In the next step, we need to create a soil around pipeline and the anode. For this, I'm going to use a block function. Since our pipeline is 50 meter long, so the block will be slightly bigger. 70 meter long and 10 meter depth with 10 meter height we'll make it look at it at the center so now you see all the three components are there electrolyte pipeline and the anode in the next step we need to develop three different sections of soil around the pipeline and the anode for that you need to choose work plan and look at it on the yz plan 30 meter uh, no 20 meter distance from the end of the pipeline right here you need to choose a partition object to separate this section from rest of the block we are creating separation in the work plan so let's see you see now first section is created in the same way we will create the ne next section using a work plan yz plus 30 and then again boolean operator partition objects soil then work plan work plan 2 so now you see we have a three different sections section 1 section 2 and section 3 now we need to create a difference to identify the electrolyte and the objects or electrodes yeah our geometry is almost completed now let's go to the material select uh, section to introduce three different type of soil around the pipeline click on the blank material clear it up the first section uh, as I said earlier first section will have Mm, 2500 ohm centimeter soil so 2500 so it will be 1 divided by 25 uh, basically the unit the console is using by default is Siemens per meter so be careful with the units similarly we'll choose the middle section with 1500 ohm centimeter soil and now we need to identify material for this section here I believe it was 10,000 ohm centimeter so 
So 1 divided by 100. Materials are selected for those specific soil regions. Now we need to define our physics. First click on the electrode surface. We need to select manually. So I will choose a node from here. Let me zoom into it. Yeah. So this is our electrode, first electrode. We need to define equilibrium potential. Uh, as I said, uh, we are using magnesium anode. So my magnesium anode has 1750 millivolts. So 1.75 volts negative. Now we need to choose our second electrode. For that, I'm going to use electrolyte current density. which in this case is our pipeline. Select all and then deselect the anode so that we have only selected the pipeline. Here we am going to use a flat 20 milliampere per meter square so it will be 002 amps per meter square current density on the pipeline go to the mesh section click on the build all so now you see the our our geometry including pipe, anode, and the soil box, all are meshed. Now click on the study and click on the compute button. To see how this solution look like. So now you see here electrolyte potential around the pipeline electrolyte current density you can see here how well this one anode is covering the whole section of pipeline then we need to find out pipe to soil potential for that I'm going to create a 3d plot for that Within the 3D plot, we need to select a surface. Exploration should be minus fill for that. I want this on the screen. We will select manual range for that. It should be minimum minus 1.75 which is the highest neg negative potential of the anode and the maximum uh, let's say 0 0.4 milli uh, 4 volts now we need to select the object which you want to measure for pipe to soil potential We need to select anode and the pipeline click on the plot so now you can see here the solution is created for for this case here you see anode is located in the 1500 ohm centimeter soil and it covers most of oils I'll say that the almost the whole pipeline section on the left side 
and while you see the less polarization on the right hand side of the pipeline section so this is because of the difference in soil resistivities originally you see anode is located right in the middle so we sh if the soil has a homogeneous or same resistivity so it should it should have the same polarization level on both sides but since we have a different soil resistivity so you can see the section in the low soil resistivity as compared to this section is well protected well polarized as compared to this one in conclusion the model shows that the pure pipeline located in the relatively low resistivity soil has more anode coverage than the pipe section located in the high resistive soil and this section also has a high pipe to soil potential levels compared to this one remember that when anode is located in the lowest resistive soil guys our next video will be based on the effect of soil resistivities on the anode output therefore please stay updated to get notifications for that thanks for watching and hope you like the video please do not forget to hit like subscribe and click on the bell icon button to get notifications for more interesting cp models of the steel structure in near future thanks and bye